It's Saturday, January 27th. Let's play the booster box game. Box number one. Can we get a hundred dollars? How does this game work? I'm about to break open a booster box within 24 hours of launch and see if I can immediately sell cards to get $100, which is what I've paid for the box. If I can sell enough cards to get $100, then I will do so immediately. Then take that $100 and go back to my local game store and buy myself a second booster box. I will keep doing this until I break a box where I can't get to $100. I'm not selling uncommons, I'm not selling commons, and no one wants to buy my $1 bulk rares. I need to crack $100 in high value cards. The goal is to be able to sell just a few rares and mythics to cover the entire cost of the box. It's the booster box game. Let's play. I'm going to go fast here. I'm only showing the foils, rares, and mythics that I crack, and I am only showing prices on the rares and mythics. Please keep in mind that I am not using TCG player prices here, but rather the lowest eBay buy it now price that was listed at the time of opening the box. I'll also be rounding all rares worth less than a dollar up to a dollar for simplicity's sake. I need to sell these cards as soon as possible because prices will likely be dropping each day after launch. Thank you. 
So I felt this was a very good booster box when I was opening it, but there's a problem. I have $100 in rares and mythics with just these five, which is exactly what the booster box game is about, but it is strangely exactly $100. I need to pay for shipping and handling and for tracking and eBay fees. I've calculated this cost at about $2.50 per card, meaning to ship these five cards out, I need $12.50. 50 cents. But there's a problem, which is that the remaining cards of value are pretty low in value. There's really just Crux at 650, Tassiger at 5, and a Flame Wake Phoenix at 4. The individual shipping and handling on these three cards still keep me from being able to sell and ship each card individually. So unless I want to end the booster box game on box 1, which I don't, I have to get creative. I'm going to pair off Tassiger and Crux and see if someone will buy both of them on the same listing. And I'll do the same for the Mentor and the Master. And luckily, someone was willing to buy these each as a lot, as a single listing, which reduces my shipping and handling costs. So I actually had to sell off eight cards in order to get $100 after we factor in those shipping and handling costs, but it all got paid. Wow, that was a close one. If a Flooded Strand, an Ugin, a Soulfire Grand Master, and a Monastery Mentor all don't get us to a second box without a slight kajiggering of the rules, then what will? Let's find out. So now it's Monday morning and all the cards are sold, the funds are in my PayPal, and so I go right from the post office to mail these cards out and then to my local game store to buy box number two. Let's see if we can hit a third box. A lot of people ask me why I need to pay $2.50 per sold item. Well, the reason is largely for tracking. I will not just stick a stamp on an envelope and put an Ugin or any other $20 card in it and just hope for the best. Without tracking, the buyer could claim it never arrived, which is a very popular scam these days. And eBay would always back them 100%, refunding the money and leaving me without card or cash. So no, I'm paying for the tracking. For a small package envelope with tracking, it costs me $2.01 through eBay. The remaining 49 cents is an approximate value meant to cover eBay's outrageous fees for sellers. And yeah, the envelope as well. In all honesty, eBay has become a frustratingly dodgy place for magic sales, with scams both for buyer and seller alike. Maybe for the next Booster Box game, I should see if I can use another marketplace, but I don't know.
Oh, wow. Disappointment incarnate. What a dud of a box. I could really only sell these rares and mythics for a little over 60 bucks. Barely more than half of what it cost me to buy this box. I know I have complained about buying boosters for purposes other than draft before, but this box really takes the cake in terms of a lack of value. And yes, I can't help but look at the cards I did sell. Ugin, the Soulfire Grandmaster, the Flooded Strand. Oh, I wish I had those for my decks and collections rather than this sad pile of bulk rares. And of course, I can't help but think that the $100 could have bought me a playset of Monastery Mentors or Grandmasters, with a couple of bucks left over for whatever playsets of commons and uncommons my deck might have needed. Ah, but that's really why I play the booster box game, don't you see? I waste my money, so hopefully you don't have to. But if you are buying boosters or boxes, try and spend that money where you spend time playing Magic. And that's at your local game store whenever possible.